Well, the long civil rights movement, though, actually does go back to, to people like Robert Smalls, who indeed were trying to pass and propose legislation that would give African Americans equal opportunity to, to, to work, equal opportunity in public accommodations, as you've heard, uh, equal access to, to the ballot, and basically dignity. And Smalls' his own life sort of, sort of sets the, the tone for that, in that he was a, a, a fighter. He, he challenged discrimination every opportunity and every chance that he, he got. Now, some of you know, I, as, as you heard Helen say this morning, I worked with um, her family to develop the, the ex exhibition that is now at the, the Charleston Museum. So I spent a year with Robert Smalls, you might say. That is, re reading all of his works, looking for his pictures, reading everything that I, I could about him. And, and again, as you've heard, this, this man was a very unique individual in that he, he put to lie some of the beliefs about slavery in this country, some of the beliefs about African-American talent and abilities in this country, at a time, basically, when most people felt if you were black, you were inferior. In fact, Smalls had one of his colleagues in the house tell him that. And of course, he challenged him on, on the spot. So um, Robert Smalls, as I said, has, has had a tremendous impact on the historiography, on, on Reconstruction, and on the, on the Civil Rights Movement. 